Let's continue on the fingers and insert the merge, multi-channel merge node. Yeah, so maybe slowly it gets boring because we are doing here over and over again the same stuff. Um, I think I will maybe skip some of the materials later because yeah, as you can see, it's always the same I'm doing here. So no need to show every single step of how I create here this this little robot. But I definitely want to show um, some stuff which I didn't have showed before. Let's call this one gray. That, that's an that's an English word where I always have to study around. Is it is it written with a, with an A or with an E? Gray. I think that's that's wrong. Well, let let's have a look. Uh, gray. No, it's it's correct. Cool. Nice. Let's insert it, and everything turns white. We need a new paint node, same as before. Auto saving is also kicking in. Everything is coming at the same time. Give Mari a short, short, quick moment. And here we go, connect, and we are back on track. Select the node and selection group gray. Right click, fill with white. Here we go. So we don't want to have here a white one. Come on, let's jump inside. We want a gray one. We are doing some 50 shades of gray here. Or one shade of gray. Mm, no, not green. As I said, we want to have gray. Christian Grey. Mm, something like that looks cool. So it gives a nice contrast here to our yellow and blue color here. And yeah, not a metal. And here a bit more roughness. Let's go for 30. I think that looks cool, but we want to have it a bit in more interesting. So first of all, we can look if we can use the breakup from the edges or if we have to do a new one. Let's insert this one and this one. Multiply, we want to have it here. And as we learned previously, we need this one. Oh, no, no, no. We need this one. Here we go. That doesn't look too bad. I think for now we can let this damage here as it is. And as I said, we will add some hero paint later on when we blocked out everything. I also gather a few reference images which we will use them as well. But let's let's check here if we can break up the roughness a bit more to bring a bit of a more um, detailed complexity look. So we don't want to be boring and lazy. Let's have a look what this one is doing. Nope. Later, I guess. We already used this one. I think this one is a really cool one. Yeah, come on, let's use this one. And here we go, and screen that all the black is gone. In the Nirvana, come on. Show me the merge node. Sometimes it gets a bit slow, so you have to know everything has to be um, transferred into the GPU. And yeah, on the other hand, you will get a super nice preview here in the viewport, which is actually a pretty nice thing. So we need a bit more tiles. Select it here. Let's go for maybe four times. Let's calculate everything. 
Mm, come on. Something happened here. Wait a bit. And yeah. It's super subtle here, but there is some stuff going on. We can try to boost it a bit with a levels node here. Double click on the levels node. Come on. Why is Mari now so slow? <laughs> cool. Now let's have a look here. What happens when we start tweaking around? This way we can create a bit more contrast. So now we can see here it gets a bit more roughness. Right here it's a bit more glossy. Pretty cool, I guess. And we can add that as a super subtle bump here on top of that. So you can use another paint node to uh, feed in a color and use the texture as a mask. Or you can simply use this one here and over it. Or just screen it so only the white part will stay and push it outwards. But we need to wait for Mari quickly here. And go for screen. Now we can see here some details are going on, but we don't want to have it that strong. Just a tiny bit here. Why is Mari so slow? Maybe there, there is there is a little guy living inside of Mari and he has to do all the jobs here and there are some days where he has a very good day and sometimes he has a very bad day. So we we call it Robert. It's it's Ro Robert is the is the guy which is living inside of Mari and is doing all that stuff we are telling him to do. Cool, let's have it this way. And as we learned before, bake all that stuff with a multi-channel bake point. And we see us in the next video.